everybody, it's Shazia's here, um, doing a video called Simple Solar, and uh, I hope this helps you out a little bit, uh, get some off the store shelf kind of things that could benefit you in just such an emergency and that kind of jazz. Kind of dark up in here, a power grid just went down, and boink, I uh, turned my lighting back on. So, you can see it's not the uh, fanciest lighting system in the world, and yeah, the power grid is still on, you see that light there, but... Uh, Anyway, uh, it, uh, it's still daylight outside. As you can see, that's a little tin LED lighting system that's uh, charged up by a little mini solar panel out there on the roof. And uh, I'll show you some more here in uh, just a second. Here's one down in my hallway. Same type of system. Emergency lighting system. Of course, you can see that the uh, it's daylight in here. So anyway, yeah. Uh, there's another one sitting out uh, on side of the uh, on side of the roof there. Okay, now we're out in the mad science laboratory. You see, that's a rechargeable solar powered shed light right there, and uh, normally they're for use in your sheds. And you've got a little charging system right there. You see that little mini solar panel? I could take you out and show you the one on the roof there, and we'll take it from there. Also, you can't overlook the outside lighting right there. These little things right here, you can plug around your little walkways and stuff like that. And uh, they're pretty inexpensive. You can also take them off their stands and use them for emergency flashlights if need be. Those uh, are pretty good little systems. And then if you look around uh, as well, you can find a uh, little solar rope lighting that you can stretch out. These uh, have two different settings on there. The little blinking LEDs inside there. Uh, pretty bright little gizmos for emergency purposes and those are also pretty inexpensive I think this particular one here cost me about ten dollars at a uh, oh one of them uh, scratch and dent kind of stores there but either way uh, if you're looking over here excuse my laboratory I still in the process of cleaning I've got three battery banks all ran in parallel and so essentially it's a 12 volt system these uh, particular systems that you see right here are 45 watt panels that uh, basically thunderbolt solar that's what's actually charging up this battery bank right here and it comes with uh, one of these little charge controllers here do 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 do, -do. there you go See right now it's about 13.5 volts of electricity. If you look up here on my ceiling up there, see I got a 12 volt light bulb on that side. And then, yeah, there's one over here. I can run all three of these with no problem. There's one over there. Let me run over here and turn some lighting off and you can see how how good they uh, light up the room there. You see it's not the most spectacular lighting system in the world but for uh, simple solar purposes they uh, seem to work out just fine. Okay now I'll hit outside and I'll show you the actual solar panel itself. This is uh, one of the uh, solar panels I was talking to you about. This is the one that's uh, charging up the uh, light in the uh, kitchen right there. Got the sun uh, off to my uh, south, so that's the reason why this is positioned here. This one right here is on the roof of the house. Since my house is an earth contact home, I uh, essentially don't have to reach very far to get to it. But uh, it's not very good placed because of, if you can see the reflection in the uh, solar panel, there's a tree behind me. But uh, when I put it up, the uh, sun was uh, high enough and it was getting uh, a good charge. These are the little walkway lights that I had mentioned. If you noticed, I got them all in a row over here facing the sun during the best part of the charging portion of the day. And this here is my old solar panel. Of course, there's my solar heater as well. But this is uh, my old solar panel that I got at a flea market for $20. It still works. I haven't got it hooked up at the moment. And last but not least, this is what one of them got some bird do on there. Come out here and clean that off. 
But that's what uh, one of them uh, 45 watt panels looks like. It's got good placement for the sun and you can move them around. But anyway, uh, you don't have to be rich in order to be able to afford solar. You can start off at a small uh, bit at a time and I'll talk to you more about this when I get back inside my mad science lab. <coughs> Hello everybody, old Shaziz here. I'm out here in my mad science laboratory. Uh, the majority of the lighting that you see in here, with exception of the one directly above my head, which I'll turn off here just for a second, is uh, all solar. Showed you those lights a little bit earlier. Uh, those particular kits that, uh, that I showed you right there, I got at a company called Harbor Freight, and you, they uh, have a website online. Now, before I get attacked with all the haters and all the thumbs downers and all that kind of stuff, this uh, video is not intended to make you an expert, nor am I claiming to be an expert on solar energy. It's merely just to point out that uh, there are several things that you can buy right off the store shelves that uh, could be beneficial if the power grid ever went down. And uh, like I'm always telling everybody, if you take one light bulb off the power grid per month, per room, then you would notice your uh, light bill going down. So uh, with, when the sun's out, charging up a battery bank like this uh, three battery bank system right here, those are just simple lawn and garden batteries. I paid about uh, $27 uh, through a, a, a hardware store called Orslands. And uh, of course they have an $8 core charge, so you have to have old batteries to replace, which I never did. So essentially they cost me just a bit more than I planned. But anyway, uh, we've talked about this particular item right here, and I'm not, uh, keep in mind, I'm not saying uh, go out and buy this. I'm not trying to sell these for any purpose or anything like that. It's just pointing out these are what I bought, and uh, they seem to be working well for me. So if you like them, then maybe you go uh, find your local business and uh, buy them from them or whatever. But uh, this little shed lighting systems, I, I showed you one that was in the uh, kitchen and one that was in the hallway. They're really good for, uh, you know, uh, lighting systems, keep you from stubbing your toe or whatever. You know, they're not the most spectacular lighting in the world, but uh, they they give you some light. And so with that said, you know, the more you add, the better lighting. And of course, uh, I showed you these little deals right here, and I got those for five bucks at uh, one of them uh, scratch and dent kind of uh, stores where they sell surplus stuff. and. Uh, you know, so they're not really expensive. You put those around your walkway, keep you from tripping over things. And uh, these nifty little uh, solar right light ropes right here, I believe I bought at Harbor Freight. Those were around about 10 bucks, I believe. Somewhere in that general area. They weren't too awful expensive, but uh, they have 50 LEDs inside of them. And uh, they're, they're pretty bright little gizmos. Also, uh, <coughs> they sell these little... Uh, I believe I got these at Harbor Freight as well. A lot of the things that I have bought, I may not have been Harbor Freight, might have been that uh, other place I went to, I, I'm not exactly sure, but uh, these are little solar fans. They don't have any batteries, they're not rechargeable or anything. You just have a solar panel on there and you stick them up in the window of your car and basically uh, while you're driving around the sun it just circula circulates a little cool air on you. Those weren't very expensive. I only paid like $12.99 for that particular system at uh, a little scratch and dent kind of thing there. And so that, those are good places to shop. You can find one of them uh, scratch and dent kind of deals. Uh, I believe this one here I got from, uh, from Harbor Freight as well. That's another solar uh, Thunderbolt Solar. This one right here is a uh, basically a cell phone charger. So I don't know if you can see that very well, but it uh, comes in uh, handy. Of course, I haven't used mine yet, but uh, if you uh, ever out and about and don't have access to a uh, power supply, you can uh, use these to charge up your cell phones or small electronics or something like that. And uh, last but not least, I got this nifty little... Uh, battery charger right here for rechargeable batteries. I think this is uh, for nickel hydrides or nickel cadmium. Let me double check, make sure I'm not telling you the wrong thing. It, it'll do double A's, triple A's, C and D and nine volt batteries. And do 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 do. Doesn't 
say do 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 anyway most of them are like uh, nickel hydride or nickel cadmium battery you'll have to read the package real well doesn't uh, tell me on the side here if I'm not I'm probably overlooking it anyway <laughs> that's neither here nor there the whole point of the matter is that uh, with a simple little solar bank like that right there and then 45 watt cells I got I bought two kits and those kits uh, I, if you watch them they'll they'll come on sale every once in a while and what are normally like 185 to 200 dollars or end up being around about 140 to 150 dollars I think I caught mine around about the 140 dollar during that old Black Friday thing that I didn't even I wasn't even aware that I was uh, out shopping during Black Friday just knew there was a hell of a crowd going on <laughs> so uh, you start off with a few batteries like that right there and these charge controllers like I say they come in those kits and the uh, lighting system which I showed you up there that particular light bulb right there uh, the uh, light bulbs that are in the, in the uh, kits are fluorescent lighting and I'm not very impressed with them uh, they burn out real quick uh, they're not very bright uh, they're just pretty much uh, obnoxious so what I did was I took the actual casing which is a really nice looking casing and I put a uh, incandescent bulb inside there 12 volt uh, low watts low amps whatever just uh, out of the uh, auto parts store and, and so you can see let me turn this off real quick that's the only one I'm running right now at uh, as far as the uh, the doggone uh, electricity off the house but you can see it's it's pretty good lighting there not bad for a 45 watt panel and the more of those uh, batteries that you put in parallel with one another I've just got three over here right now and and I can charge them up during the day and run them all night long and uh, they uh, they uh, keep at least lighting on here and of course you can get these uh, nifty little 12 volt fans right here and inside the uh, actual unit itself is a plug-in, if I can get it here without breaking something. Ah, there you go, it's a 12 volt light. It's a little oscillating fan here. <laughs> you can buy those in camping supplies and stuff like that. But, uh, Anyway, there's no reason for you to do completely without electricity in, in uh, just such an emergency that the power grid goes down or anything like that. Uh, you, can, you can get those uh, light bulbs up there, which actually look like uh, regular light bulbs, but they're, they're actually uh, 12 volts. Uh, that and there's 25 watts, and I uh, got a 50 watt one uh, as well. But there's a solution, a simple solution to your uh, simple solar right there. You don't have to be rich or you don't have to be uh, uh, professional to do all these. Most of these are like plug and play kind of stuff, you know, right off the store shelf. You got a little bit of, of uh, putting together as far as the, uh, the panels go. There's just some screws and that kind of stuff to put the frame together. And then everything else is just simple. Plug it in and start using it. And then you just connect your positive and your negative uh, cable to the batteries and and you're off to you know to uh, charging your batteries so if you got three batteries you got quite a bit of time that you can run off of it for longer times that you're going to need for your battery backup or whatever just add more batteries uh, I think the best case scenario would be like uh, two uh, banks of tw uh, 10 you got 10 batteries in line and then you got an extra 10 batteries in line and while you're charging one you're draining off the other and then vice versa you fl just flip it over to the, the other battery bank and then you still have power so the larger your battery bank is the more time you're going to buy yourself as far as lighting and all that kind of stuff and uh, like I said it's a, it's just a really simple little deal man so if you uh, need solar don't be stressing over uh, watts and amperage and all that kind of stuff and if you're going to be trying to run your entire house off of the uh, solar system then you gotta have to expect to put a a lot of money into it uh, those are pretty expensive systems and you can get all different sizes of inverters out there this little inverter right here will change DC to AC and those are pretty cheap I think I got this one here for 1099 
and it was that one of them scratch and dent uh, kind of deals there but uh, yeah that's uh, that's the simple of solar there <laughs> it's uh, no big deal you know like I said you can go out to the stores and uh, you can keep your eyes out and find some bargains and buy some uh, simple stuff just to charge batteries and run lighting and if you take your lighting off the power grid per room that's uh, extra few bucks you ain't gonna be paying the uh, man every month so with that said I'm gonna cut this video short right here and uh, say peace and love to the world and I uh, hope something that I said helped you out and there was one other thing on my mind that I just uh, just about forgot or uh, what was it do 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 anyway they come with charge controllers <laughs> all right peace and love everybody as soon as I flipped the switch off, I, I suddenly realized that uh, it dawned on me. It hit me like a ton of bricks. There's one little unit you can also buy from uh, the same place where you buy those solar kits right there, where you can connect eight 45 watt uh, panels uh, in uh, in together, and so that'll give you a whole lot more charging power and a whole, whole lot more that you can run directly off the uh, solar panels themselves. So with that said, just depending on how much money you have access to to uh, buy them kits right there, uh, my best uh, case scenario for somebody who's financially challenged like myself, uh, yeah, just uh, basically go out and buy maybe one a month and then uh, work your way up to the whole full eight panel kit and uh, take your house off the power grid one uh, room at a time. That's the cheapest solution, the simplest solution to the whole deal. And uh, so with that said, <laughs> once again, peace and love and stay tuned. And uh, I got uh, a lot of different things I'm working on. This here's uh, the neodymium magnet accelerator, the uh, start of the whole deal. There's actually uh, neodymium magnets inside there and they'll be spinning around in a circle and generating electricity. So working on that. And I'm also working on the uh, plasma reactor, still waiting for some parts to come in uh, in the mail for, for me uh, to get that on. But i uh, got a lot more to share with you, so please stay tuned. And uh, I, don't, I don't believe you'll be dissatisfied when you see the outcome. Take care, everybody. Peace and love.